If you work in AI or machine learning, you have come across JSON for sure. JSON or JavaScript object notation is a lightweight human readable data format used extensively in web APIs, configurations, data interchanges between systems like LLMs. And without JSON, it's very hard to get a structured data. This is where this nifty little tool called as JSON Crack could come handy. It's a powerful tool designed to help users visualize and interact with JSON data in the form of structured clickable graphs or trees. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will play around with it a bit. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Now the thing is that sometimes this JSON could really become pain in the back. When JSON becomes deeply nested or large, it can be really difficult and cumbersome to read and understand. JSON Crack addresses this by turning complex JSON into clear, navigable visual diagrams, making it easier to inspect, debug, and present data structures. Let's get it installed and we will talk a bit more about it. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I am going to start with creating this virtual environment with Conda. Now, if you're also looking to rent a VM or CPU or GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs, VMs and CPUs and the rates are quite cheap. I'm sure you are going to love it. In the same breath, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with application in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And you will also find the link in video's description. Okay, our virtual environment is created. Let's now git clone the repo of this JSON crack. The name is quite interesting, by the way. Okay, so and I will drop the link to it in video's description too. So that is done. Now there are two ways you can get it installed. You can either get it installed through npm or pnpm. For that you would need to have node installed or you could simply go and get it installed through docker. So I'm going to go with the docker. I already have a recent version of docker installed. If you don't know what docker is, how to get it installed, just search my channel. I have done a very easy to understand video on it. And now let's build it from the root of the repo with this docker compose build command. And it is going to take a bit of a time to build everything in place for you. Well, that happens. Let's talk a bit more about this JSON crack and its utility. So by visualization, JSON crack offers a suite of features that streamline working with structured data. It allows format conversion between JSON, CSV, YAML, XML, and TOML which is useful when sharing or importing data across systems. It can validate and beautify JSON to ensure data is correctly formatted, and it even generates code for TypeScript, Golang, or even a JSON schema to speed up development. Tools like JWT, decoding, random data generation, and query execution, it could be JQ or JSON path, extend its utility for developers, data analysts, and API testers. All processing is done locally for privacy, making it a bit of a secure choice for sensitive data, if you please. Okay, let's go back to the terminal. And it is still building it, so let's wait. And everything is built. Now we can bring up this container by running this docker compose up from the root of the repo. And then it is going to start it at our local host. And then you can simply go to your browser at your local host at port uh, 8888. When you access it, there you go. So we have our uh, JSON crack running all local and all private on our local system. Let me make it a bit smaller so that it could fit on screen and then we can try running it. So I'm just going to go to the editor here. And as soon as you click on the editor, you see that on the left -hand side we have json and on the right hand side we have this beautified graph of depicting this json so 
and it is nested as you can see that from uh, fruits it is going to all of these attributes and within nutrients we have calories and then you see it is also giving us these very very connected graph so for instance if you click on it it is going to show you this is a json path value and then this is a content and this could be very very handy seriously if you click on this um, icon you can see that you can export it as image you can rotate the layout and you can also collapse the graph from here you can even do the trackpad gestures if you like there you go but they are not that much needed so you can just uh, collapse them so all in all it is pretty nifty and there you can see the bottom left you can even search the node you can zoom it and you can zoom in and zoom out both of the options are available okay let's try to have <clears throat> sorry let's try to have another graph here and there you go there is another json and as soon as i have pasted it it has created this graph and if you look at this json it is pretty complex with one top level key and then we have um, array or list of three items and then we have further various nested objects there is a lot of uh, nesting going inside for example look at this matrix dot cpu and then it is going with loads and cores and all that stuff we also have some other attributes uh, including numeric string and null and it is depicting all of them pretty nicely and as i mentioned earlier for instance if you for example if you click on uptime this is a json path which is primarily a query language used to navigate and extract specific data from json structure similar to how x path works for xml if you have used it okay so you can just click to disappear it another cool thing is that if you go to the top and in the tools you can also run i believe uh, json query or jq on it so for instance if i just want to get the system id i'll just say display on graph and it says unable to process the graph by the way this works on their online system doesn't work here for some weird reason anyway i'll just cancel it but there are a few other tools which i have seen they don't really work here but most other other stuff they on the online system they work okay but anyway i think even this is really good for me uh, as i very very heavily use json especially when it comes to data set it can give me a pretty you know holistic view around that so let me know what do you think i'm very impressed by the tool all free all local and please like the video and share it among your network and please do me a favor if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and share it among your network because that is the only marketing I do. So I'll be very, very grateful if you do that. Thank you for all the support.